Okay, I don't know if you could hear me, but I was really excited about that graphic and the music. That is a new thing, and you guys are kicking it off for us. Welcome back to the Morning Wrap. It's Tuesday. Time for our pet of the week. Joining me right now, we have Randy and Jules from Ventura County Animal Services. It always happens. Once the camera turns on, <laughs> the little pups are like, I'm done behaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me who we have here. Yeah, so this is Hatchy. He is a three-year-old Siberian Husky. Um, and right now he just wants to face whichever direction he wants to. <laughs> but um, absolutely lovable. He is a low, lowish energy husky. <laughs> and he loves jewels. Yes, she she's one that has the treats. So he's he's looking for them. Oh, do you have treats? He's oh, pawing for them right sense. now. Um, I would take the treats too. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, he did arrive at the shelter with a microchip. Unfortunately, his family never came, and Aww. now he's available to adopt. Um, <laughs> we did get a new doggy bed, so maybe he's having an allergic reaction. No, to he just got something up his nose. He got something up his nose. Aww. One more, one more sneeze. There it is. Did you get it out? That is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> but we are having a huge event this weekend at the shelter called Husky Week. So we have about 41 Huskies in our care, okay. and they're all going to be fee waived starting this weekend all the way through next weekend. So, you know, we have Huskies um, aged from eight months to eight years mm -hmm. to choose from. That's so great. I love this. Also, I just love the little personality of this one. Um, adorable. You know, it's kind of sad to me that you guys have to have such a big event for Huskies. They're be I mean, every animal is beautiful. This one is, you know, a stunning animal, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just kind of a bummer. Yeah, all too often we have animals that are, these are all owned animals. Mm -hmm. These are not just stray animals who kind of grew up on the streets. He had a home, mm -hmm. and now we're looking for somebody to give him a forever home where he can live out his life. He's only three years old. He is absolutely adorable. He is a, a lower energy, but still has a, um, a lot of a energy. a playful side, there too. Yeah. Very yeah. playful. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, I think these are amazing dogs, and, um, you know, if anyone is looking for a, a wonderful addition to their family, this is uh, not a bad way to go. This is <laughs> wonderful, and he's been so cute and sweet and kind. Um, had a little case of the sneezies earlier, <laughs> which is totally fine. But we're going to put all this information up on our website at kconews.com slash the morning wrap. Now, if someone's interested in any of the animals that you guys have or mm -hmm. also just want to know more about the breed or more about Hatchy, where can they go for that? Sure, they can go to our website, go to vcas.us. At the top, you can click on adopt, and there's an adoption portal. People can sign up in the morning to adopt an animal in the afternoon when we're open. Um, and all of our animals are also on our website. So all their pictures, their bios, we have videos um, everywhere on our website. So we make it very easy for the public to come and adopt. And you don't have to be a Ventura County resident. You can come up from, from L.A. and adopt at That's Ventura great. County Animal Services. Yeah. Okay, let's talk one more time about the event that you guys have going on because I think that this is great. If anyone is interested or they can they just come on in, right? They just walk on they over? They can walk right in. We're doing fee-waived adoptions for Huskies only. Mm -hmm. We have about 41, 41 Huskies right now at the shelter. Wow. Um, and they range in age from 8 months to 8 years. And uh, it's going to go from the 11th to the 19th. Mm -hmm. And the shelter is open from 1 to 6. And we would love for all of our, our Huskies to find a forever home. This is great. Now, if someone is a first time, you know, dog owner, potentially first time dog owner, what do you guys have any tips for them? Yeah, so um, for Huskies specifically, um, they're a pretty active breed, so be prepared to be out going on adventures with them. That'll really allow you to bond with your new pet too, just spending time together. And um, for shelter dogs especially, it can be an adjustment when they go into a new home, so it's important to just embrace them with patience and love and uh, give them time to settle in. Are Huskies yeah. usually good with um, other dogs and kids, families? It depends on the okay. individual dog. Mm -hmm. Hatchie here actually has done really well with dogs of all sizes in playgroup at the shelter. Mm -hmm. um, so we feel pretty good about recommending him to a home with other animals and potentially uh, kids as well. This is great. Okay, we're gonna put um, Hatchie's information one more time up on the screen. Again, Hatchie, a three-year-old Siberian boy. Husky, beautiful. That's a beautiful photo because he's been kind of squirming around over yeah. here. So take a good look at your screen because that's what he looks like. Um, beautiful. And again, at the Ventura County Animal Services uh, Shelter, you can go and get more information. We've also posted a link on our Instagram already. We're gonna post this up on our website at kcounties.com/slash/the-morning-wrap. Yeah, we really want to help you guys out when it comes to this too and we'll have Thank more you. information about the um, actual event as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. I'm of sure I'm going to see you another Tuesday with another pet for our pet of the we'll week. We'll be back. Looking forward to it. <laughs> and I want an update on, on all of them so Absolutely. far. Absolutely. As, as, they, as they get adopted, we'll let you know. Perfect. I love it. Well,
Well, thank you both so much. And that does it for us here on the Morning Wrap. Stay tuned. Amy Johnson's in the building for KCAL News at noon. She'll have more news for you on the way.